hold that purchase. Seriously, put your wallet down. Because if you're even thinking about upgrading your full-frame camera right now, if you're wrestling between the latest offerings from Sony, Canon, or even Nikon's current flagship, you absolutely need to hear what I'm about to tell you. What if I told you that the camera everyone is waiting for, the Nikon Z7 III, isn't just an upgrade, but a silent revolution that will redefine the mirrorless landscape? And what if I told you that some of the most critical specifications have already leaked? This isn't about the official press release. This is about the whispers in the dark corners of the industry, the patented technologies, and the supply chain movements that confirm one undeniable truth. The Z7 III is poised to fix every single complaint Nikon shooters have had, and then some. We're talking about a camera that directly targets the weak points of its competitors and crushes them. For years, the Z7 II has been a fantastic camera, but it had a few glaring shortcomings. The buffer, the video capabilities, the autofocus tenacity. Well, those days are over. What we're seeing, according to sources deep within the Asian supply chain, is a complete overhaul centered around a brand new stacked sensor. Forget the 45.7 megapixel sensor you're used to. This isn't just a slight improvement in resolution. This is a paradigm shift in data throughput. Imagine shooting 60 megapixels, uncompressed, at a sustained 20 frames per second. The rumored sensor, which may be labeled as a brand new generation BSA CMOS stacked Exmer variant, is the beating heart of this monster. It promises virtually zero rolling shutter, a dynamic range increase that will pull detail out of shadows you didn't even know existed, and a low-light performance that will finally put Nikon on par, if not ahead, of its most aggressive rivals. But the sensor is only half the story. The brain of this operation, the processor, is rumored to be the XP7, but not the one we currently know. This is a significantly beefed-up version, optimized specifically for that massive data pipe. Why does that matter? Because it means the buffer nightmare is over. Think endless burst shooting. Think about never missing that critical moment because your camera is choking on data. Professionals are going to weep with joy. Now, let's talk about the Achilles heel that Nikon is finally slaying, autofocus. The Z7 III is reportedly incorporating a next-generation deep learning AF system. This isn't just better subject detection. This is a system that can track an insect's eye through a forest canopy while it's flying. The current Z9 and Z8 autofocus are exceptional, but the Z7 III is said to inherit the latest refinements, offering improved low-light acquisition speed and, critically, a much broader area of coverage. We're talking 95% of the frame, edge-to-edge, -edge, with reliable eye detection for humans, animals, and birds. If the leaks hold true, this AF system alone is the reason to ditch your current body. But the biggest news, the thing that will make this video go viral, is the video specification leak. Listen carefully. Internal 8K at 30 frames per second, uncropped. That's right. No binning. Full sensor readout. And what's more, 6K at 60 frames per second in NRAW. This puts the Z7 III in direct competition with cameras that cost thousands more. Content creators, filmmakers, and hybrid shooters,